Hello, and thank you for watching this short demonstration on how to configure GSLB on the VMware Advanced Load Balancer, also known as Avi. In this demo, we will take two Avi controllers, one in Dallas and one in Chicago, and configure them in a GSLB cluster. The purpose of using GSLB would be to load balance your multi-sided applications. So in our case here, we have a single Hackazon server deployed in Dallas and another in Chicago. And first we'll configure GSLB on the Avi controllers, and then we can create a GSLB service and test it. Okay, and the first thing we'll do is create a DNS virtual service. And the purpose of this DNS virtual service is to handle DNS queries to the Avi GSLB domain. So we'll go ahead and create a new VS VIP here as well. We'll just use the IPAM network that we have pre-configured. Go ahead and save that here. And then lastly, on the application profile, we're going to change this to system DNS. You can see it already selects the service port as 53. And that's all we have to do. We can just click next to create this virtual. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on our Avi controller in Chicago. So vCenter Chicago, come in here, DNS Chicago, create a new VS VIP. and select the application profile system DNS. All right, so now that we have both of the um, DNS virtual services ready, we can go ahead and configure our user. And this user is for syncing information across the GSLB cluster between the various um, Avi controllers in the cluster. So we'll go ahead and do GSLB user as the username here. And we'll set a password. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make it a super user. It's not required. Um, you could probably get away with a system admin or creating a custom role specifically for this use case. Go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the Avi controller in Chicago. Create a new user here called GSLB user. Set the password and set it as a super user. Okay, so now that we have our DNS virtual servers created and our users uh, created on both Avi controllers, now we can go ahead and create the actual GSLB cluster. So under infrastructure, GSLB, site configuration. So let's go ahead and create the GSLB cluster here. We'll call this first site GSLB Dallas because we're creating it on the Dallas controller. The, uh, the username that we've created is GSLB underscore user, put in the password there, and then it already pre-fills the um, IP address. Okay, and you see that it's pre-selected as an active member. Active member means that this site is going to have a DNS virtual running on the service engine to respond to uh, DNS queries. It's got our IP address port here, and then the GSLB subdomain we'll use is gslb.avi.home.lab. Okay, we can save and set DNS virtual. And since we've already created the DNS virtual, we'll just select DNS Dallas here and then save. So we'll give this just a moment. It's gonna go ahead and create the site here GSLB Dallas. And then if we log back into Avi Chicago, we'll notice that um, nothing's actually been created here yet. So we need to go ahead and add this site. So we'll come back to Dallas and go to add new site. And we'll do GSLB in uh, Chicago. User. And we also want to make sure that we select active member because we do want this uh, site in Chicago to participate as an active member. Okay, let's go ahead and save and set. And then we're going to select the DNS Chicago virtual in here. Okay, go ahead and save. So let's go ahead and create a GSLB service, like advanced setup. We'll do GSLB Hackathon. And for the application name, we'll do hackathon.gslb.avi.home.lab. It's already pre-configured in here. For the health monitor, we can just do system GSLB TCP. Okay, and let's go ahead and add our GSLB pool. So we'll call this um, Hackathon Pool. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and leave this as round robin because we want to, to bounce between Dallas and Chicago. And so let's go ahead and select our Dallas virtual here, VS1 in Dallas, and let's go ahead and add in our Chicago virtual as well. So GSLB Chicago, VS1 Chicago. Okay, select done, and then we can go ahead and save this uh, GSLB service. Give it a moment and the application should turn green. Now we can take a look at our GSLB service and see that it's configured and the status is green. And if we hit the GSLB service directly, 
looks like it's redirecting to our Hackathon application. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video on how to configure GSLB within your Avi controllers.